Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here, and we take this to our graves. I apologize for the hoarseness in my voice. I'm coming off of a cold that really attacked my throat, and for a couple of days I didn't even have a voice. And I'm hating the fact that this constantly happens to me. But anyway, the show must go on, and today we're going to take a look at the new DreamWorks film, The Penguins of Madagascar. Now, of course, The Penguins of Madagascar are four penguins, and you have seen them since the very first Madagascar film. So this is basically a spin-off film that is all about these guys, and it's all about their origins and a mission that they have to fulfill, finally living their dreams of being super spies, international super agents, whatever you want to call them. I wasn't expecting this movie to be absolutely spectacular. I wasn't expecting the animation to be gorgeous. What I was expecting was this movie was going to be fun. It was going to play on the elements that made Madagascar the great animated comedies that they have been. And that's exactly what we got. I had so much fun watching this movie with a lot of laughs. And it was very quick-witted and very smart, especially when it came to the running gag name joke that happens throughout the film. You gotta see it to know what that means. I think one of the big surprises, two big surprises in fact, were the celebrity voices of Benedict Cumberbatch and John Malkovich. I've always admired admired these guys, and they're very prestigious actors, and I know that John Malkovich can do a good amount of comedy, but Benedict Cumberbatch? No! I did not expect anything like that from him, and he really surprised me as classified in this movie. But for me, the highlight was kind of what I was expecting, and it really revolved around Private, who is the baby or the not-so-right member of the Penguins of Madagascar group, and this was a movie that really revolved around him wanting to be bigger and better in how much he admired his compatriots or his brothers-in-arms, Skipper Rico and Kowalski. And it was just a really heartfelt story that revolved around him, and I really think that fans were expecting this and were going to enjoy it one way or another. Now, as I said, it's not a great movie, but you're going to have so much fun when you go and see this movie, especially if you plan on taking young children, and adults are really going to enjoy it as well. So, where is this franchise going to go? I don't know if there's going to be a Madagascar 4, I don't know if there's going to be a Penguins of Madagascar 2, but for what it is, for now, I have enjoyed every single one of these films that DreamWorks has given us since the very beginning, and I'm going to give Penguins of Madagascar two and a half out of four, just because of the fact that even though I did have so much fun with it, it really wasn't the greatest movie, and I wasn't anticipating it to be the greatest, so it really just goes right down the middle. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'm looking forward to giving you another review very soon, and actually speak louder than words.